Hey, what's up, guys? It's my attack, and this is gonna be my review of Bleach Chapter 656 God of Thunder. We got the manga stream translation ready. Let's do this. I want to see what's going on with Harold Valkyrie and the captains. Someone new's gonna come in, or something's gonna happen. Who the fuck knows? Let's do this. The king's capital rebuilt. So, I guess, and then we see Gerald Valkyrie. He has now like a little wreath around his head. I don't know if that was there last time or I didn't really see it that well, and now he's just kind of yelling up into the sky, just kind of destroying shit, and the support, okay, so more manga stream stuff, and we got Askin? What? Okay, are we gonna get Ichigo versus Askin? It appears as though Gerald-san has finally unleashed his shrift as well, so is he did he have to release his shrift, or he might just be talking about the other stern rare? Uh, well, seeing as how even Lilay-san got his, his ass handed to him, I guess, he wouldn't really have much of a choice, so that little translation was off there. Speaking of which, I don't think that Big Gov even noticed that Lilay-san has been defeated. Maybe I should go tell him about the shoot Stoffel. So, it looks like Askins just kind of talking about the defeated enemies. I'm assuming what happened between him and Ichigo, because he's not with Ichigo, is that he just kind of ran away like he did with Grimjow, and Ichigo didn't really find him. Lilay-san was the leader of the shoot Stoffel. Lilay-san was the leader of the shoot Stoffel? So, is he the most powerful sterner ever then? Lilay-san was the first Quincy to be bestowed his shrift by his majesty. Well, okay, so that goes kind of back to what Lilay-san said. Cool damage control, Kubo. So his position is unwavering and ironclad, but the two remaining Shootstoffel, Pernida-san and Gerard-san, were Quincy's that weren't stowed any special powers by his majesty's. Their powers had been long in place. So wait... Confirmation that Pernida's alive, and it was just kind of showing that uh, Yuha had bestowed upon didn't give them powers. They already had their powers before that, and that goes back to how he's the left arm of the Soul King, and Gerard was probably just something before that. Of all the Storm Raiders, since those two already possessed their abilities, it was only a matter of time before His Majesty's bestowed shrifts to them as a recognition of their status. That's why those two constantly had rumors swirling around them as to their true identities. It is said Pernita son's true identity is the Spirit King's left hand. We already know that. While Gerard's son is the Spirit King's heart? Okay, so... Interesting. Very, 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 very interesting. So Gerard's son is the heart of the Soul King. And that's because they... And so th I don't think this means Askin's a part of it because Askin was talking about how Pernida and Gerard are similar, how they were already had their powers and they were both parts of the Soul King, I guess. I don't even know how the rumors began about them being the Spear Kings, anything especially with them being Quincy's and all, but one look at that absurd power they wield, and it's no wonder those mysterious rumors these began to take hold. Was that was that a short enough summary for you, Ichigo? Yo, Ichigo's just head is laying on the ground, hmm? Oh my god, he beat Ichigo. I suppose it's hard to take all of that when it's when your face is fl face planted to the ground. I, we haven't seen Ichigo in a good fight since fucking, like, with the first Stern Rider guy, you know, from Hueco Mundo. Can't think of his name right. Oh, Kirgi. Kursaki-san. So, he obviously got poisoned, though, and I kind of have to, like, this was probably going to happen because this happened, like, with, you know, the Royal Court squ Guard Squad and Grimjo, and so... Inoue and Chad are just moving in. Stay back. Brazo de Recha de Gigante. Chad's moving in. Let's see if he can do anything. Just smashes the ground. Askin jumps away. And then there is just a black circle under them. What's happening? I can't. Let me finish that sentence for you. You can't say I'm gift bad. Poison bath. So basically... 
Okay, so what we saw with Ichigo and... Okay, you know what? That's kind of interesting now. But basically, he's giving Inoue and everyone a poison bath. They, they're in his range of circle, which they'll just get poisoned at that point. Stepping into the pool isn't exactly lethal, mind you, but I can lower my resistance. I choose of any who step in the radius, and this time what I've chosen is Reishi. In other words, all of you right now are all being overcome by the super dense Reishi here in the war well. In essence, you are all being poisoned by Reishi. Interesting. Did you say poisoned by Reishi? Yes, a lethal dose of, dose of my ability. Well, do, to be more precise, I kill by causing a lethal dosage of the chosen element that I want to manipulate. But in order to do that, I need to take a great amount of whatever it is I want to manipulate into my own body. For example, if I want to be blood, then I need to drink an obscene amount of blood. So that's why I drank his blood. Unfortunately, my stomach's about to explode from drinking too much cafe a lattes. So until my stomach settles down for a bit, I'll just have you wait here patiently. How fascinating. Yoroichi's just right behind him! From what I can gather from your diarrhea of the mouth, if your opponents aren't able to move, then it, it seems rather simple to just reach out and strangle them while you can. So Yoroichi's gonna come in! She's like the perfect enemy because of her, or the perfect person to fight as him because of her Shunpo, uh, Shunko, I feel like. Did you seriously just say those words while well, Bambi also said something quite similar a while back? It pissed me off back then. It s pisses me off now. Would it kill you to have some g goddamn delicacy? <laughs> and then uh, Askin's just like flipping it, like doing some feet moves, some foot moves, just like, and then kicks uh, Yorichi, but she isn't having any of that shit. And then she's like, yeah, I don't do delicacy. Do you really think your opponents are that much beneath you? Not at all. I just prefer defeating my opponents with a certain amount of elegance. After all, controlling and manipulating lethal doses has such cash it. Wringing people's necks it is more suited to women the likes of you and Bambi. So he's talking about Bambietta, I guess? I see, and then she goes into Shunko, and now it look her, her Shunko looks a lot different now, but it's really cool. Like she has like two wings going up, and then just lightning dispersing from the ground. Like that's probably a thumbnail right there. I have no idea who this Bambi person is, but the point you're trying to make is that this is how the beautiful do things. Well, you and Bambi are indeed both beautiful, but a woman's value isn't in their superficial qualities. Interesting. And then he pulls out his bow. That's a cool ass bow, actually. It's in her style and presentation. So we're having basically the uh, I I I guess Askin versus you know Shunpo or Shunko. Oh my God, Yuri! She's just catching arrows as she's uh, blitzing Askin. Askin's just like, what the fuck? And then she twists in the air and throws back his arrows and gets a hit on Askin, like the first hit on Askin we've gotten, and then, I'm sorry, you seem like an interesting guy and all, but we're in a bit of a hurry, oh my god, Yoroichi, I love your Yuro Yoroichi, she just gets the job done, so you'll be letting us through now, and then she fucking, oh my god, it looks like she's Raijin uh, Shunko, Raijin Senkei, oh my god, so she pulls out another Shunko basically form, and she has just this thing forming in the back of her in a wheel form, and it looks like she's charging up like a Chidori. Like, this is gonna be some insane shit. Like, oh my god! And then she just obliterates a fucking portion of just everything in front of her, like a giant lightning bolt of Ray. She just came down on Askin and just fucked him up. So, I doubt that's the end of Askin because we still need to see his, um,. His, uh, Volt Standing, especially since he is a person that has turned into a Quincy and given powers. Um, and this chapter was definitely interesting. We had Lily or Askin, really talking about, uh, all the Stern Raider, giving us some more context to their battles and to their stories. Per Nida might be alive. I mean, I don't know what's going on with that. And then Gerard Valkyrie is now the heart of the Soul King. Whatever the hell that means for the future of Bleach. And then we have Yorichi coming in to start Askin versus Yorichi. I mean, maybe the spell will be over after this, but I doubt it. And then, of course, we have to finish up the Gerard battle, which I'm wondering what's going on with that. Like, 
Askin said that Gerard didn't really realize that um, Lele got defeated, so he's probably just on a crazed rampage right now, so we'll probably see something happen with him uh, later. I hope we kind of stay with this Askin fight, because this is going to be some good stuff. I'm wondering where Urahara is. I would like to see some Urahara action. For sure, and I'm thinking this is implying that Urahara is just going to come in and save Gerard, like, this is, or save the Gerard group, kind of like what Yorichi is doing right now, because she's right now 1v1-ing a stern rider. This was a really good chapter for sure, Kubo even had some damage control in here for some of the what-the-fuck things that were never, you know, explained. He was also mentioning Bambietta, which I'm wondering why, because Bambietta is dead. So, I'm wondering if that's implying that we might get some backstory for all the Stern Raiders that we didn't really get backstory for, possibly. I don't know, uh, this was a good chapter, I might have a review, I mean, I tried to put some discussion at the end, so you guys see my live reaction then discuss a little bit. So, please, let me know what you guys think in the bottom. Is Askin dead? Are we gonna go straight to Gerard Valkyrie, or are we gonna stay with this Askin Shunko fight? Because this is some pretty hype shit, like, this is final battle material that I'm talking about, like, literally, I'm right now looking at this last panel, I don't think there's any more pages, yeah. I'm um, looking at this last panel, and he, she just fucked up Askin, like, Askin is in the middle of that blast, like, he got hit by that, and he got damaged by the arrow, too, so, he's probably gonna have to, but also, like, there's some stuff going on, like, above him and below him, possibly activating his um bolt standing which i really am going to be predicting for the next part of this fight or in the next chapter hopefully if it has to do with this fight that he releases his bolt standing i'd really like to see what it is because you know he's a really cool character i like his design he looks like uh aizen and plus his bow was pretty cool this chapter too it was just something a little different coming out of his arm so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this i will be talking to you guys later and please comment below what you guys think of this chapter so i will be talking to you guys later peace out